wanted to say hello. Hello. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm gonna do a weekend steamer. Uh, this is gonna be for. <laughs> oh yeah, it's uh, Friday the 13th. Yeah. Uh, so November 13th, 14th, and 15th. So um, yeah, before I get into it, I want to um, encourage everyone to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cherish Daily Tarot. Um, if you have not um, already uh, liked my Facebook page, go over to Facebook. I'm Cherish Daily Tarot there. Um, let's see, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Twitter, and I have a blog. If you would like a, to book a personal reading with me, don't hesitate to uh, reach out. You can reach out um, through all of those platforms. Um, I'm not really sure how it works on TikTok, but you can reach me at my email as well, uh, Cherish Daily Tarot. Nope, that's not it. It's Cherish Daily at Outlook.com. Um, my, my blog is Cherish Daily Tarot at Blogspot.com. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, if you'd like to get notified whenever I put out a video on YouTube, uh, hit that subscribe button and um, the notification bell so that you can get notified. If you like what I do and um, you'd like to um, you know, send me a love gift, you can do that too. I have a cash app. It's um, that cash, that dollar sign, Arena Zootopia. Um, I'll put it in the in the description let's see what else yeah if you like the content let uh youtube facebook instagram all those places know by uh liking it liking the video yeah okay so let's go ahead and get started get that out of the way uh let's see what's going on for the weekend see what's popping okay let's call in our team Angels of Love and Light. Y'all have been practicing. These stiff cards are a little bit difficult to shuffle. I see some readers, they they know what to do with those, with these stiff cards, but anyway. Angels of Love and Light. Spirit of the Most High. Our higher selves, ancestors, galactics. What do you have for anyone that wants to come in on this video? Anyone that wants to get in on the energy, give us some insights. What would you like for us to see for this weekend? How can we be prepared? Um, give me a clear message. Help me to speak clearly. Help whoever that comes in um, receive a good message. Yeah. I think I'm gonna rifle through this time. See what we get. Um, I don't I don't get a whole lot of negative comments, but um, you know, just so that you know, if this doesn't resonate with you, it just doesn't. The energies are, um, it's a little different for everyone. So we have two out first. All right, how do I wanna take this? Okay, so the main energy is the six of pentacles this is um someone being generous uh it can be you see how the hand is coming from the the top it can be you know the the most high being generous it can it's just um something coming in for you maybe work well done because here we have the three of wands that's your ships coming in ships coming in something um that you've been working on something that you've been working on that has um 
finally come into fruition. It's really, it's really good. It's nice because this, this is, um, this could be family. It could be work, career, your money, someone giving you, um, I don't like to say a handout, but somebody's being generous to you, maybe giving you an extra boost, you know? Um, I do that a lot. <laughs> so it's not like a handout. It's, you know, um, when you're abundant, you can give, you can give of your abundance and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So, um, you're maybe indecisive, something, um, having something to decide, some decisions that you have to make and, um, you're just confused, just a little bit of confusion. So perhaps somebody is being generous, you know, somebody is giving you a little bit of help to help you, you know, get to the next phase of what you're, what you're trying to do, because you obviously have something that's going on, something that you have um, started and this is in your subconscious, you know, you're, you're not always aware that this is, that the two of swords, this confusion, you're not always uh, sure that that's the way that you are, you know, it's kind of like saying, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what to do. Okay, let's see what's in your recent past. Okay, so yeah, you, you're, you're learning something. You've stepped into something new. This is the page of wands, but you're, you threw yourself into it, right? You threw yourself into it. Um, pages are young people are messengers and fire energy, it's action, it's, you know, passion, something that is, you know, you're really doing something and whoever, whatever it is that you're doing, it's getting the attention of others. And, um, that's why you've gotten this, uh, six of pentacles because you're doing a very good job. And for what you have, someone else is putting in, um, putting it, putting in with your coins, their coins, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, they're investing in you. I like that. I like that. But you're a little, um, you're, you're trying to see things on, you know, on a different, in a different way, get a different perspective. This is the hangman. And the hangman is about getting enlightenment. So that makes sense too, because pages, they're students, they're learning things, they're, um, you know, novice at, at a thing. And so this is a major arcana, this hangman energy. This is, uh, um, it's not a bad thing. Sometimes you do have to take yourself out of the game and, you know, look at the plays over and over again until you can find out what the next, what the next best move is. And so you're having, ah, you're getting a new love, new love situation coming in. Uh, the energy that's coming in, something that is, it's, it's a gift from the divine. Aces, aces are gifts from the divine. This is the ace of cups. Cups talk about emotion. And as the how this fits with everything that's here. Hmm. Hmm. All of the energy is present here. That's what I'm seeing. All of the energy is present. Fire water, air, earth. They're all here. Okay, there's three cards here. Ooh, two major arcanas. 
All right, so you, your energy is um, that's influencing this is a major arcana. This is the strength card. So you're acting in strength, willpower. You're see, I'm trying to put it together. I'm trying to see what it is because there's not like one thread that's running through here. It doesn't look like career. Well, it looks more like career, but it doesn't just look like career. Kind of looks like love, but it doesn't look like love. I don't know. I can't tell. But whatever it is, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. This is another major arcana. This is in your environment. So something has changed. Something has come into um, come into being, and it's sparking a new passion, a new love, a new um, desire in you. Hmm. You're happy about it. Whatever you're doing, you're very happy about it. But you're still having to make some choices. You're having to make some choices. My incense is... <laughs> it's showing out right now. <laughs> um, you're having to make some kind of choice that is... Um, giving you these in you're impatient you want something to manifest now this is the knight of of wands i think i said the king of wands in the last weekend steamer um when those cards came out but um my bad to anybody that that looked at that and was like uh, i think you're wrong well here it's the it's the knight of wands and this energy i say that because this energy came out in the last steamer and this is an energy this is like a whole mood you're just impatient you're wanting things to happen for you right now and that's what i'm 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 not sure if this it maybe it's business for some people maybe it's a love situation for others but <clears throat> let's see what the possible outcome will be. I'm going to put out some oracle cards to just to give us a little bit more um, information. This hangman energy is great energy. It's telling me, it's showing me that you're going through some sort of a spiritual, um, you're looking at least to have a spiritual awakening. You're looking to go to the next level. You're like, come on, <laughs> let me get these lessons. Let me um, let me find out. Now, yesterday was the 1111 portal, so some of you may have gotten some some downloads, some um, some light codes, your some realizations, some new um, ways of thinking. And look on the bottom the ace of wands that's another gift and that's what i was talking about a new desire a new passion for um something spiritual okay okay yeah so i'm right two major arcanas came out at the same time you have justice and death and rebirth now this is saying that something has come into balance something that is um something that was off something that was off track, it's come into balance. And we're here in Scorpio season. A lot of things may have gotten the ax. A lot of things may have come to uh, fruition or come to light that, um, you know, maybe weren't on the up and up, but now there's a, a, a death of the past and a rebirthing for the future. And that's why you have this Ace of Cups coming in. A new love, a new, I mean, it could be a new relationship. It really could be a new relationship. All right, let's, um, let's put out some Oracle cards. Let's see what's going on. Um, I'm gonna use my Energy Oracle. Your ships are coming in. That's what it is. Something, something that you have already been working on whether that be a relationship or um, something in business okay so maybe it is a relationship 
and you're having you're you're unsure about it you there's potentially some fears here in your subconscious look i split it and there's the three of three of hearts or the it's the broken heart but it's like the three of swords Ooh, and look over here deceit I, I, we don't want that so that's telling me it's a little bit it's you know more pointing more towards relationship stuff but in your environment you have the wheel there's um fortune's wheel turning in your favor So be encouraged by that. Be encouraged. Whatever is going on, just um, just know that things are changing. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So somebody sneaky is in your midst. Somebody is um, trying to, you know, work some something. Something is not right so just be careful be watchful know that there's um this this situation going on deceit i'd noticed um the seven of swords coming out last night when i did my live and that's a sneaky person that's somebody that is trying to gain an advantage and don't really like you don't really like what you have going on and they want to throw a monkey wrench into your midst but i'm getting the indication that justice is going to be served <laughs> because you have in the outcome the justice card with justice there's no talking your way out of it you know right is right wrong is wrong and <clears throat> lady justice has um you know has the scales and justice is blind <laughs> you can't pay enough to get yourself um right but look the sun is shining you have the sun here this whenever i see this i always see the most high in your in your midst and i feel like this came out in the last uh weekend steamer and just like i was saying before action action you're wanting to you want to have you know things happen for you right now happen for you uh swiftly and here this main energy the six of pentacles it kind of reflects this sun energy abundance having um everything that you need being fulfilled okay so let's, uh, I want to put out something else. Let's do some more Oracle cards. I want to know about this deceit. Who's being devious and deceitful? That's what I want to know. Let's see if we can get some information. Well, this isn't going to help us with that, but I'll, I'll clarify maybe. Put out some clarifiers for that deceit. I want to know what's the what's happening there. This card just fell out. Ooh, shadow. So the shadow, it just kind of, as I was shuffling just now, it just fell out. The sh shadows, you, you want to confront both your, um, your shadow side and your, your light side, your light body. Don't be afraid of your... So this might be you. <laughs> you could be trying to do something deceitful. You could be trying to be, um, um, I don't know though. I don't see that this is you. This doesn't look like you. Mm -mm. It doesn't look like you. It looks like you're trying to hurry, hurry to get some resolution. You're trying to rush to justice. Okay. Yeah, contracts were on, is on the bottom over here. So, huh, trying to see things in a different perspective. Just know that you're gonna get it. You're gonna get whatever it is that's um, that's meant for you. I can't tell what it is from here. <laughs> 
I can't because it's not clear. I just know that you're gonna, you're going through a transition. You're going to um, have a time of renewal. You're going to be, you're gonna have a new love. <laughs> you're, um, and another thing to note here is that it's divinely guided. Yeah, it's um, because you have two gifts. You have the Ace of Wands, that's birth, um, you know, like a new uh, business, new relationship, babies, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, see? Yeah, fulfillment of wishes. This is like, okay, so this is kind of like this, the um, nine of cups and the nine of um, pentacles. Fulfillment of wishes. But it's also like this wheel of fortune, the wheel. Things are changing, things are coming. And look, see this? It's like, it's, it's abundance. You can't, you, you can not, you know, hold this back, <laughs> this waterfall. It's coming in and it's coming in like, uh, you, you won't be able to, you won't have, you gotta get ready. That's what I'm trying to say. You have to get ready because you, you gotta be able to contain all of this. Does that make sense? You have to be able to, con if you're, if here's the admonition slow down <laughs> slow down whoa horsey because it's coming in and it's coming in fast it's coming in fast and you need to be able to contain all of this you know it's like with business you have to have vehicles and you know places to put that money <laughs> that you're gonna get in and that's just the way that it is you, that's like a whole different set of problems it really is um let's see what this deceit is all about look at what's on the bottom wow all right, so on the bottom, just pulling it, pulling out the deck is the Nine of Swords. That's fear. That's fear. Um, yikes. I don't, I mean, this is good. All of this looks so great. <laughs> it really does. The only thing that's, that's bothersome is this deceit. And the way that this outcome looks, it's like somebody's about to get it. <laughs> somebody's about to get it. This is a positive reading. This is really, really a beautiful reading. You've done the work. You're excited. You're happy. You're happy. You want, um, you have favor. Okay. Oh, somebody somebody did do something wrong this deceit you got the three of swords three of swords broken heart betrayal um people walking out on you people you know making your life uh, like a living hell let's see i wanted to see what um let's see what this ace of cups is all about why is the ace of cups here Such a beautiful card. Renewal of this heartbreak. That's definitely it. Yeah, okay. The Ace of Cups, it's because you moved away from whatever the trouble was. The um, Six of Swords is moving away from drama, going to safer, um, safer grounds, better grounds. Uh, let's see what the, the death and rebirth is. The sun, <laughs> the sun, the sun, the sun is optimism. 
cheer, goodwill, good fortune, happiness, celebrations. Let's see what justice is. Why is justice here? Why is justice here? Angels. This looks really, really good, y'all. For the weekend, this is this is like a change of events. I felt like the energy had changed a little bit last week, or, or the past couple of weeks. We, see, we don't see any royalty here. So it's like y'all cycled through, um, and now you're on a whole different thing because you have, it's the beginning, the beginning of something new, you know, with this new love, new idea. Ah. Not really. I say new ideas simply because this two of swords is here, but this is kind of the way that you operate. You're, mm, you take some time to, to think about what you're, what you got going on. So what's with this justice? Why is the justice here? Okay. It's a story. It's a story. Let's see what this story is. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Let me see what this is. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. So basically it's like somebody, somebody is, um, somebody put you in a confusing spot. You know, it was like somebody that's come up as this, as if they were bringing you an offer, but never did never never brought it they just brought confusion brought a little bit of confusion they were out for themselves this is the five of swords they were just out for themselves and you know just a whole lot of talk <clears throat> made you doubt yourself you know put you on your guard you made you feel like you know you couldn't do anything but then it freed you it did it made you a better person because look this is the nine of pentacles you're self-sufficient, you have, you know, you can do things on your own. Now, more information on that is, you know, at this point in the game, you're this, this person, this nine of wands, I mean, this knight of wands is come out again. The knight of wands, impulsive, you're ready to go. You're wanting um, to have what you want. I mean, really, you want it now. You're like, okay, I'm done. I'm good. I'm ready. I'm ready to get started on this new journey. And um, <laughs> you're studying the energy. See, you have this knave of wands and this three of wands. It's come out again, okay? Um, it, it's like the energy is just repeating itself you're you're just ready you're ready to um to go on this new new venture this new passionate thing that you're that's having you see things in a different way and look at all the green in this card here it's like heart chakra stuff you're um you're open there's a lot of green on this card i mean and on this table this whole spread there's so much green here look i mean just just look at it, reflect it here. It's reflected here. So now I see it a little bit better. You're, um, this is a new, new relationship. Something that has opened your heart. <laughs> opened your heart to new love. That's beautiful. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Um, Thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate you. Um, I don't know how I get all disheveled throughout these readings, but I do. <laughs> if you would like to uh, book a personal reading with me, uh, reach out to me. You can see my schedule on Facebook um, and my menu of services. I'm running a promotion. Send me an email, cherish daily no, cherishdailyoutlook.com. Okay, let me start that over. <laughs> I'm running a promotion for Scorpio season. Send me an email to get on the email list and I will give you the promotion. Um, I'm trying to keep it special for, um, for anyone that wants to get on the email list for Cherish Daily News. Um, 
Yeah, so you can send me an email for that. You can also send me an email if you'd like to book a personal reading. Thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate you. Look at the mess we've made. <laughs> I hope y'all have a great weekend. Um, tell me how y'all are doing in the comments. Um, I love it when you talk to me. I appreciate it. Uh, watch out for my next live. Um, I'm not sure when I'll do it. I try and pop up every now and then. It's such a special thing. I went on TikTok uh, the other day. Um, I'll probably do it again. Um, Y'all show so much love and I really appreciate it. Um, Y'all have a great weekend. Be safe. Until next time. <laughs>